friends welcome to my youtube channel dhanesh here today we are going to discuss about natural language generation nlg first let's have an introduction to nlg you may be familiar with nlp natural language processing and you may be aware of nlu that is natural language understanding and here we are going to discuss about nlg natural language generation nlu and nlg are the subsets of nlp that's why it is written nlp is equal to nlu plus nlg natural language generation nlg is an important part of nlp the nlu that is natural language generation is responsible for understanding the content and nlg is responsible for generating the content nlg is designed to bridge the gap between humans and the machines and convert non verbal data into human readable language formats such as articles and reports for instance when the user says what is 5 into 5 first of all you need to use nlu technology to judge the user's intention understand what the user wants and then use nlg technology to say 25 this completely describes what we discussed nlp nlp combines nlg and nlu nlg and nlu are the subsets of nlp where we can use nlg what are all the different types of industries industries where we can use nlg that's what we are going to discuss one example written analysis for business intelligence dashboards we can use it in business intelligence dashboards reporting on business data and in data analysis personalized customer communications via email and in app messaging iot device status and maintenance reporting in internet of things we are using nlg for to get uh, maintenance reporting and uh, iot device status individual client financial portfolio summaries and updates even in e-commerce we are using e-commerce product descriptions and category landing page content we can there we can use nlg natural, natural language generation now we are going to discuss about the different types of nlg a uh, natural language generation is of two types one is text to text that is text to language generation then data to text that is data to language generation two types of nlgs are there levels of nlg that means there are different levels of nlg is it's there one is the simple data merge that means a simplified form of natural language processing that will allow data to be converted to text via excel like functions for the association mail merge uh, for example where the gap is populated with data that is retrieved from another source such as a table in ms excel that is the simple data merge next is you know the templated nlg this form of nlg uses the templates driver mode of display um, di driver mode to display the output for example you can take a football game there the of uh, the scoreboard you can take that example the data remains dramatically changed that and it is generated by a predefined set of business rules there we will go with templated nlg next is advanced nlg this form of natural language generation is just like humans it understands intent adds intelligence considers context and presents the result of insightful narratives that users can easily read and understand these are these three are the levels of nlg from the first second and third third is the advanced nlg that is like you know 
it's just like humans. It understands intent, adds intelligence, it considers context and presents the results. That is advanced NLG. What are all the different steps in NLG? See, when we do an NLG project or when you do NLG related projects, these are all the different steps. There are six steps we need to follow. One is the step one is the content determination. Content determination. As a first step, the NLG system needs to decide which information should be included in the text being built and which should not. Usually the data contains more information than the final message. Step two, texture structure, that is text structuring. After determining what information needs to be communicated, the NLG system needs a reasonable order of organizing the text. For example, when reporting a basketball game, it will give priority to when, what place, what two team, then outline and finally the ending of the game. That is the text structure. Then the step three, the sentence aggregation. Not every piece of information needs a separate sentence to express. Combining multiple pieces of information into one sentence may be more fluid and easier to read. The step fourth step is grammaticalization or lexicalization. Once the content of speech, content of each sentence is determined, it can be organized into natural language. This step adds some conjunctions between the various information and looks more like a complete sentence. Step five, reference expression generation. Referring expression generation, that is REG, this step is very similar to grammaticalization. It is to select some words and phrases to form a complete sentence. But the essential difference between uh, uh, the, uh, you know, REG and grammaticalization is the REG needs to identify the domain of the content and then use the voc vocabulary of the domain rather than other domains. That's the difference. The last step is language implementation, linguistic realization. Finally, when all relevant words and phrases have been determined, they need to be combined to form a well-formed complete sentence. That is the last step. Now we are going to discuss about the popular NLG programs that is available. NLG programs do more than create content. They can generate financial reports, convert speech to text, and vice versa, and much more. The most popular and most interesting algorithms include creative stories. Quill is a program developed by Narrative Science to write stories based on automatically selected data. He starts writing content in the form of a short story. Interestingly, the content is different depending on the region where the recipient is. Next is from Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. Microsoft provides this service based on artificial intelligence, which includes several solutions such as recognizing emotions, face search and pictures, changing words to text and custom recognition intelligent service that is advanced recognition of speaking and vocabulary. Some large companies may include to build their own NLG engines. For instance, the Washington Post created Heliograph and used to write stories about the Olympic Games and more than 500 press releases during the 2016 election in the United States. These are all the popular programs we use. Next is what are all the different applications of NLG? Ability to generate personalized content on a large scale. Help humans gain insight into data and make data easier to understand. Accelerate content production. Generating analytic reports in natural language. Enabling chatbots to interact in a more human way. Creating written content like articles and stories. That's all about NLG. 
thanks for watching please share and subscribe thanks a lot